shot. All right, boys, we gotta get some bikes ready. The Scooter Swap Shop boy, who I just visited and I built the GP1 RC1 engine up in Oregon, right here, if you guys watched like the last couple videos, uh, built that up in Oregon. They're coming down here now to Vegas. We got Brandon, Skyler, Paul, Pat, and uh, they all need bikes. I have the bikes, I just don't have enough well running. I'll probably be riding this one most likely. Then we got the 72 pre-bug, runs good. I just swapped the double seat on it. I took off the blue single seat, which I'm actually gonna show you guys here in a little bit uh, more on it because uh, it's better to wheelie with the double seat. The good old wheelie bike Zuma, which Brandon will probably be riding because this is his old bike. I know he's been begging and begging, begging on his knees for me to let him ride this thing again. So uh, I'll let him get a little flavor taste with that. Bug Eye, which we're currently working on right now, um, which is really not running good at all. Um, might need the boys to bring down some parts for this thing. This will be Skyler's bike while he's here. Right when they leave, this bike's gonna be for sale. And uh, I'm pretty much only keeping it right now so Skyler has something to ride when he comes out here. And then we got the pre-bug over here, which I'm currently parting out. So if you need parts off this pre-bug, let me know. Because I wanted the double seat and I wanted the double gas tank. And I didn't want this bike, it doesn't have a title, so I realized I'm just gonna part this thing out. So if you need anything off this bike, let me know. Just pulled the rear rack apart, took off the taillights and the blinker, that's for sale. Now that I put the double seat on the blue and white Zuma over here, now I want I have to put the different rack on the back because the single seat rack is meant for the single seat and it doesn't allow the double seat to go back. It'll hit right here. I took the rack off the other pre-bug that was in the backyard that I'm parting out. Just gotta cut this mount right here. I have a JDM tail on mine. I don't have the big bulky one. So uh, cut that off. And it was raining and the worst part is I just put this fucking rack out that I painted for the pre-bug. And it was in the rain and it looks terrible now. Look at it. The paint got all wet. It's so wet right now. I just tried to dry it off and it's still the paint's wet. Here's the little template Pliny gives you to cut out for the gauge. Pop that out. It didn't come with the extension though that you need for the temp gauge uh, to your head. So I'm gonna just wire it in myself actually, I decided. So I just need to steal that plug off the back of that thing. Got our plug, cut it. I'm just gonna extend it like I said. Trail tech in there now and it's actually um, a backlit one which is pretty sick. All right, so tail light's not coming on on this thing right now so I'm gonna go through it and find out why that is and ignore my dryer in the background. I can't even film right now because so I'm doing laundry. My laundry is in my garage. Oh my god, this thing's a ripper. See, I'm proud of this one. This is like my best running bike. I went completely through first go. Like, I didn't have anything half done from anyone else. I got it as a fully stock scooter, and I went through and did everything on it. Crank, crank bearings, literally fresh every single bearing on the motor. New cylinder, new intake, brand new carb. 
the whole front end build, this brake, like I did everything on this one. It likes to stay back too, like. Oh. When that pipe hits, it'll throw your ass back. All right, boys, got almost every bike running. Even got the double seat on here now. Looks good, got the white rack on there now. The double seat rack, got it running. It's still breaking up, but I'm having the Scooter Swap Shop boys bring me out a Pliny 21 mil carb to take off this Chinese carb. Put a uh, Pliny on there. Went ahead and pulled out the stunt pad, letting this thing charge up right now so it has um, lights in, just in case someone has to ride this one. I guess worst case scenario, got the tandem uh, running. Because I already know we got to get the boys riding the tandem. Because I never get to see anybody ride it because I'm always the one on it. So, got this bad boy running. Got the underglow. Got the electric start. Car is right now. So loud. So loud. You can't tell. Hop on, baby. <laughs> Does it work? It works kind of. I was talking. <laughs> kind of? Yeah. I'm glad. Hey, let's cut it good. Lift it up, Paul. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. This might be the end of the tandem. No way. Dangerous. Yeah, this bro. No, I just I told you guys this. No, this thing is super dangerous. We rode it on a whole mini motor ride with like hundreds of groms around us. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me put on the helmet then. You gotta start it, yeah. <laughs> don't don't turn. You literally can't turn, you can only lean. <laughs> It's like oh walking, bro. Oh my god. I'm Literally just walking. Stars. <laughs> Keep going. This thing is a workout. <laughs> this oh thing no, is a good. workout. <laughs> Dude, it doesn't even feel like you're turning. Straight is not bad, turning is really sketchy. Because it's doing it's doing this thing, you know. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Dude, that whole bike is flexing. Stronger one in the rear would be fine. Well, or maybe if you could make it more vertical. Make it mount for it yeah, more up and up and down. Yeah, because look how laid out it is. Yeah. Welcome up, boys. Well, that's my camera. Yeah, I That's know. weird. That was super <laughs> weird. Hi. Hi. Fall guy runs now. Come on, baby. Don't be shy. What's he looking at me like that for? <laughs> Yo, we got homies out here today.
89 pre-bug, almost ran out of gas on pole already. It has a small tank in it, and now we're back. So Skylar broke my bug eye. Everybody's running out of gas. We turned around from the group. And uh, that was our ride, boys. video obviously the ride didn't work out like we planned to bug eye throttle kibble broke left us a little stranded we pushed them back then we started running out of gas but it was still fun and we had a sweet weekend and I still have some more footage to show you guys but that's gonna do it for this video check out the description down below if you guys want to cop some gear support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one